Howdy, 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 my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and let's get into your weekly tarot reading for August, darling Sagittarius. So your first row today, we're going to be talking about the person that's on your mind. Could be romantic, could be platonic, could be someone business related. All I know is it's not my business to know your business there. All right, Sagittarius. <laughs> and then in your second row, we're going to be talking about what you need to hear today. All right. This could be something that just is affirming your life right now or just giving some guidance, all right? And then in your third row, darling Sagittarius, we're going to be getting into some predictions, all right? The future is never solid, but if you continue down the path that you have been going down, I can make some pretty solid predictions uh, for your life here, all right? Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. It's completely free to do, and it helps me out a lot, and I appreciate it. And let's get started here, all right? With this Magician Energy, this is the Major Arcana for the week for you here, Sagittarius, all right? The Magician Energy, I like like this a lot for you here don't be afraid of experimentating <laughs> experimentation uh, at this time here uh sagittarius all right um not only astrologically is it the best time for you to be experimenting because i for those that choose to experiment during this um the age of Aquarius right now, those are going to be the people that really become successful. So for example, Aquarius, now I want to call you Aquarius Sagittarius. For example, Saggy, all right, if you have been sitting on this idea of like always wanting to have like a YouTube channel or always wanting to ha like have an Etsy store, like whatever it is, doesn't even have to be financially. Maybe for some of you guys, you want to just like move somewhere um, greatly. That's where the success is going to be happening. That's where you're going to be noticing things working out. You'll notice for a lot of people, those who are being stale or even in your own personal life, Sagittarius, what has been really underwhelming for some of you perhaps is stuff that you have been doing for a long time now and what the universe is really trying to direct people in doing especially with after the whole pandemic and all of this is like it showed it's really showed to us that it's like the future is never solid you're never going to know what's going to happen here so it's like instead of always sitting in this place of being like oh yeah someday i would like to do a youtube channel do it now all right if you truly wanted to have a youtube channel and have the best success here do this is the best time to be experimenting with it and accept the fact Sagittarius that you're not going to know everything about a subject when you first start into it all right I see you guys. I see the Sagittarius that really exude that mad, mad scientist energy that I always call the Aquarius, but also the magician energy, Sagi. Um, that's where the success is going to be happening. All right. Things are going to be what normally would be a big risk or seen as a big, big risk isn't a risk for you at all. Even in the back of the deck here, we have the Knight of Wands here, Saggy. All right. And this is a card. This is the night where it's like, in some ways, people can see this as a really unrefined energy, Sagittarius. But also, this is an energy of where uh, the Knight of Wands really just does what they're passionate about. You know, they don't really overthink things. They're just like, you know what? This sounds nice. You know, starting a YouTube channel, that sounds nice. Let's just do it, you know? And that's the energy that I want y'all to exude more of, Sagittarius, where you're just like, let's just do it. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Stop being so stop being so afraid of getting uh, of leaving what your structured life, all right? Um, while structure is really good on a, at its time and place, I feel like at this point in time, don't be trying to find a place to really settle, uh, settle camp at. All right. So let's get into the person that's on your mind right now, Sagittarius. You have the Queen of Swords here, the Justice Energy, as well as the Four of Cups here. And keep in mind that Magician Energy, by the way, is going to be influencing all three of these rows. All right. So what I get with this situation here, Sagittarius. <sighs> I mean, I'm going to be honest here. I feel like this person here is like you have to like they have to be hit over with a uh, with a brick on their head, Sagittarius, for them to fully understand things. All right. For them to really shift their perspective here, Sagittarius. I get like when it comes to this person here, Sagittarius, it's like they're functioning off of their own truth here. It may not be the truth, but they're fun uh, they are uh, functioning off of the place of where they think what their current reality is, is the truth here. And so I feel like there's, there's someone in your life, here, this person here is like starting to pull back a little bit here with that queen of swords or maybe you're pulling back in response to them being really stubborn there sagittarius my initial thoughts when it comes to this person here where it's just like you can't you know the quote that comes to mind is where it's like you can't you can lead a horse to water but you can't make them drink all right and so i feel like for some of you sagittarius it's like that sense of where it's like you can see how this person is like either spiraling or just not seeing things and uh seeing things clearly but it's like they have to be the, someone has i get the sense that someone has to just like mess up up on their own someone has to touch the stove themselves before they finally believe that the stove is hot 
right? And what I get here, Sagittarius, is like you pulling back from this energy is the best thing that you could be doing at this time. You can't help them. You can't make them see uh, things from any type of light that isn't their own currently because they don't want to right now. But I do get with this situation here that the truth is going to be coming out in this, with that justice energy. It's like they're going to have a greater understanding eventually there but the best course of action i feel like you guys need to be taking is just distancing yourself until they figure themselves out that doesn't mean that you close things off with them but it's just that sense of being like all right like you know you go do your thing over there darling i'm gonna do me over here anytime that you want my help you know my number right but I get this message here, just like, don't try so hard when it comes to this person here. It's just like, they may have good intentions. You may have good intentions, Sagittarius. Yeah, sun energy, it's going to work out. This is the best card in the tarot deck here, Sagittarius. It's absolutely going to work out when it comes to this person and you. Like, you know, but I feel like this is just something where it's like, you have to just accept that this person just has to do what they need to be doing, honey. Eight of cups. I kind of see this uh, situation as both of y'all here. So I don't know why I get this impression here, Sagittarius. Like, again, distance from you guys like for you Sagittarius when it comes to this because you're just like all right like until they figure themselves out until they are more open to things like you're gonna be off doing your own thing here page of pentacles while you walk away Sagittarius you will hear back from them here with that page of pentacles there it's like the sense of where it's just like you lead that horse to water or you, you don't lead that horse to water Sagittarius but you let it be known that there is a water source and later down the road I feel like they're going to hit you up later on Sagittarius and be like oh hey like I know you mentioned that water source like I'm a little bit thirsty now can you help me out that's what I see with this here but if you can if you try to make this horse get to the water and guiding them and all this I feel like it's just going to do nothing but cause like resentments cause fights and just miss further misunderstandings there Sagittarius so I really want to just stress this sense where it's just like don't try to get this person to understand things from your perspective right now they're going to understand that perspective sooner rather than later but it's like it's just not worth it right now it's just it's just it's too much stress for what it's worth all right nine of wands here even in the back of the deck really affirming to me me Sagittarius where it's just like stand your ground stand your truth what it is that you you know where that water source is you know that they need water all right you don't need to change your views you don't like you are not the problem <laughs> right that's what I wanted to say with that I was like I don't see y'all being the really the problem there Sagittarius so let's get about let's talk about what you need to hear at this time today you have that nine and four of swords coming in here with that hanged man coming in here. All right. I mean, following through with what we were just talking about, Sagittarius, this is quite literally the sense of where not overthinking things. You have the choice. And if you want to be anxious about this horse not getting their water, what have you. But I really do feel like it's like distance makes the heart grow fonder there. All right. The, the change of perspective is going to be happening with that hanged man eventually. But it's not going to be through your own devices here. All right. I do see for you, Sagittarius this sense of where for some of you guys you're feeling anxious about how a situation is going to be playing out completely separate from that maybe you're worried about a journey that you're about to be going on some of y'all are planning a trip i feel or like you're planning something and you're wondering if those plans are actually going to come into fruition i do feel like it's going to happen sagittarius all right so don't be stressing out too much about that there but it's one of those things i always say with the hanged man the hanged man journey is like it's scary until the person commits to it and sees the change of perspective right and so it's like the leading up to being the hanged man until that person uh on the hanged man fully commits and sees things from the 180 from a truly different perspective that's that's when you finally realize like how everything's going to be working out that's why you even seeing the artwork it represents the sun uh Sagittarius all right for some reason I feel like I called you out Aries and I apologize if I did Sagi all right <laughs> but yeah that's what I see for you guys initially it's like that sense of where especially because of that four swords there all right I feel like it's like there's some type of silence that's giving you like a little bit of anxiety and some of you guys you're giving yourself anxiety Sagittarius because you feel like you should be doing more or what have you don't be pushing things all right allow things to come as like things are going to happen on the correct to divine timing that's what i really get with this here is like the sense of like divine timing of where it's just like your faith is being tested essentially here is what i get with this initially so let's continue on expounding on this though sagittarius i also get this sense here where it's just like 
I'm being shown like a roller coaster, Sagittarius. So it's like you this there's like a roller coaster that seems extremely scary to you initially, but once you actually get on that roller coaster, you realize how much fun that roller coaster is and you want to do it again and again and again. All right. So if you guys have been really Sagittarius sitting on this idea of where it's just like, oh, I would really love to do X, Y, and Z's YouTube channel, I would love to move to a different country, what have you. But the idea of doing that is so scary because of everything that you would have to learn, the transition process, all the paperwork when it comes to moving and all that. Don't allow that to spook you because it's that sense of where it's like, if you commit to actually still doing it and see it through the end, you'll be so happy that you did. All right. Uh, you have the Emperor card coming in here. I see more responsibility happening in your life here, Sagittarius. I also get this sense of where for some of you guys here, <sighs> I get like this sense, Sagittarius, where for very few of you, but I feel like you have to remind someone of who you are, Sagittarius, all right? I feel like someone has like, it's like that sense, Sagittarius, where the impression I get is like, let's say like you love to do self-deprecating humor and you always do self-deprecating humor around your friends, what have you. And I feel like there's like this on some level, the people that you do that self-deprecating humor to Sagittarius, it's like, it's a joke to you. Like you don't actually think you're ugly. You don't actually think these things that you make a joke about with yourself, but it's, it's almost as if some people are treating that as the reality and like not respecting you in the same way that you should deserve that respect Sagittarius right so it's like even like in terms of like a partnership even it's just like I get like this sense of where it's just like a partner is like you always make this partner feel loved and appreciated for their patience that they have that they have for you and all this there and it's like almost on some level they've convinced themselves that they are like a blessing in your life and you, they are doing you a favor and it's not like the reverse like they're not keeping that same energy for you like for you where it's just like they're seeing you as the entire blessing and how much you're helping them i get like this sense for some of you sagittarius it's just like you need to remind someone it's just like hey like this is a joke like i'm actually that bitch i'm actually that one so you need to like let's not get it twisted here all right that's what i initially get with this is where it's just like someone needs to be reminded of their place yes they are valuable yes they are loved but you also are, you know, it's like you almost make yourself so approachable to people that they tend to forget, like, what you're capable of. I don't know what that really means for some people here, but strength energy coming in here tough conversations happening here but again i get like this sense of sh your faith being tested here with the high priestess card coming in as well all right i do want to be saying with that high priestess energy sagittarius as well it's like you probably struggle with constantly dealing with people projecting onto you their perceptions of you it's like for so many like for you sagittarius it's like you have you it's like you are an enigma to so many people that you're really hard to understand and so they have to like put you into this bubble that they see you in to understand you and it's like i don't know i get like this sense of where you're not be i feel like i keep misrepresentation is the word that comes to mind sagittarius it's i don't know it's like you have to set you have to set perspective straight you have to remind people who you are and also with this knight of cups coming in here just as a side message like i feel like we've fleshed out that point enough so getting into this final part here sagittarius with this knight of cups coming in here i do see opportunities coming in but i see it in that sense of where if you watch the Hunger Games, this is the only thing that's coming to mind right now. But like in the Hunger Games, um, there's like the tributes of people who are fighting each other to survive. And then there's people watching and people watching can send like help. Like someone got burned and then they sent like a, a aloe or whatever it was to help with the burns and all that. Right. But they're in the middle of battle when it's happening not entirely the details of how hunger games goes but you, you get the point and so that's what i see happening for you sagittarius it's like help is you it's like some of you guys are afraid or don't want to take action on certain things until you have like the preparations in hand it's like you don't want to start that youtube channel until you have everything prepared or you don't want to go into battle until you already know that you have like the burn remedy or like the aloe and all this in your pocket but it's one of those things sagittarius again 
especially with that hanged man where it's just like you have to just trust the process you have to trust that the universe has your back and that they're going to send help when you need help like i get that sense of where for you where it's just like you're afraid of taking action on certain things because you want to have all your ducks in a row right <laughs> <laughs> i'm thinking about my rubber ducks now but you have all your ducks in a row sagittarius right and as counterintuitive as this sounds like you're not going to have your ducks in a row your ducks in a row are going to come in when it's needed all right you're not going to have that aloe sent to you when you're burned until it's needed and so i feel like that's what your story is it's like you have to just commit and see it to to the end and have faith in the process all right so that's what i get for you on that sagittarius all right so let's get into your predictions now darling all right you have here the two of cups the lover's energy as well as the three of pentacles coming in here definitely i see your social life picking up here all right definitely social life i feel like some of you guys are going to be making some new work connections here and i know for many of you sagittarius you might see this lover's energy lovers energy here and you're kind of just like i'm not looking for love or anything like that here while i do see that opportunity available for those that are trying to manifest love i don't make everything about love right but i do see new partnerships coming in for you new friendships i also get this sense of where some of you guys haven't communicated with like a family member or like a friend nothing really happened just you haven't communicated in a long time perhaps and I feel like someone's going to be coming in from the past there, all right? But I do definitely continue on getting this emphasis here, Sagittarius, of, like, work relationships, all right? So even if you are, like, self-employed and you don't have, like, anyone that you can make relationships with, right? Like, for me, I'd be like, okay, girl, like, I don't work with, I'm my own boss, I don't work with anybody, right? I would see this more so as a sense of where it's like, okay, maybe it seems like a new friendship is going to be happening for, for, with me for like someone else in the tarot community or something. All right. I don't know. I feel like this sense of where your path is going to be aligning yourself with pe other people that understand you and get you that have similar passions and relate to you in ways as well. Um, so uh prediction wise for you guys socially if you've been having any type of anxiety when it comes to your social life maybe you've been feeling lonely that's going to be rectified there um i feel like past there's going to be some connections that you haven't talked to in like years sagittarius i feel like they're going to be coming in here in the coming days to talk to you all right socially that seems to be where a lot of the movement is going to be happening and manifesting for you in the coming days but overall i feel really positive about what's happening in your life here sagittarius especially for those that are trying to manifest like again let's talk about youtube i keep on talking about youtube if you've been wanting to start that youtube channel maybe part of the reason why you haven't wanted to start that youtube channel is because you don't know everything but you still do it and then spirit sends along people that can help you refine your youtube channel that can give you advice on how to make thumbnails or how to edit or what have you but you have to get the ball going first all right just a perspective to consider but that's what i have for you today sagittarius be sure to check out your sun moon rising as well as your venus sign and give this video a like and subscribe and i love you so much darling bye sagi